year or two. Like, in like three years, we'll have like an in the higher time. What's the story, like a co-owner of Durasan, uh, uh, Durasan Lango, or I forget what it's called. It's a soap shop uh, and more. And it used to be around the corner from Van Llewellyn Ice Cream. Reminds me of Le Van Cookie, but, um, but they've since moved their store farther south and a block east toward, like kind of near the Jefferson University portion of the Jefferson University Hospital. So they have a whole university there for med student like pre-med and all that stuff so I guess they're technically med students you know by that point this is the neighborhood on a Sunday night I'm surprised it's uh, the 17th of November and there's a lot going on but it's from here on out it might be busy just because of the holidays next weekend will be a marathon the Philadelphia marathon a tradition for many many years yeah, yeah um, so. so that'll be going on and then um, um, Then it'll be Thanksgiving after that, and Christmas, and New Year's, and the Mourner's Parade, and everything else. So it's really packed here at Pearl and Mary. I know a commonly read name here in Philadelphia. Um, we have Pearl Properties. I happen to be in a building that's owned by Pearl Properties. I rented from them years ago. They used to own a property over Dirty Frank's, Fine View Apartments. It's now owned by Renzi, um, but um, Renzi Property or whatever. Uh, and for many years, I rented more from a privately owned, like a person who privately owned a row home that was converted to apartments, but he used OCF Realty to handle the showing of the apartment. But when I wrote my check, I wrote it to a personal person who owned that property. Um, so it was like renting a, almost a room, studio room, whatever. Out of, it had a kitchen and a bathroom and everything. Um, that's when I, I was made to believe I'd be murdered there. So I wound up stuck there. It was supposed to be a temporary fix. I actually had, plans kind of I started planning to go to the Pacific Northwest this is 2010 and I'd made some connections through a running group I was gonna run in the um, run like hell <laughs> um, mar half marathon like I was making plans for it I knew someone in Seattle I knew someone from the running group of front runners out in Portland and I had uh, dog walking clients of you know a couple just the same, I'm saying same sex, a lesbian couple, Steph and Meg, and they were planning, the, they were kind of in the stages of planning to move out there. They did eventually, Steph's um, family retired there, like her parents retired there, she had a brother there who was part of the mounted police department, which wound up folding uh, in 2016. So 2016-17, that ended and they got rid of the mounted police department for some reason. Um, so, anyway, um, I, you know, had a friend who I visited in Seattle, and I was even applying to jobs in Seattle just to see if anything would turn up. Um, but 
uh, all of a sudden in January, on the fourth Monday of January, 2011, uh, I was made to believe I'd be murdered in my apartment. Uh, my world, like my life changed on a dime. It is like they say. Um, and real quick, it was like everyone I thought I was connected with and was kind of happy because I had these pee peeps or what have you that I thought I was connected with and happy about and going to couple shows too and grabbing brunch or dinner here and there and all those people um, kind of didn't support me emotionally like you know in a way in a friendship way that I thought they would so it was kind of on the odd side and I don't know I you know I joined up with a running group and I volunteered with two other groups and through those connections, I met these people. So I don't know if they're all sort of part of a weird, you know, staging group or what have you. I don't know what to say, but anyway, just saying this, it makes me want to apply to jobs again in Seattle just to see what happens. I've applied to other jobs, you know, in New York or what have you. I don't really want to live in New York, but uh, my degree's in writing and I have publishing experience and that's, you know, that's where job openings seem to surface. Uh, but they have a lot of hybrid and remote positions. So anyway, I'll just keep edging along. Um, and hopefully something will break. I can move on and close the deal on whatever started in 2011. Uh, it's so whack that that same week, Greenberg, uh, there was Greenberg, someone. There was a huge trial that made it to the Supreme Court just this past summer. And a young lady with the last name Greenberg was going to marry some guy with the last name Goldberg. <laughs> and she was found stabbed in her apartment. And some people say they were self-inflicted wounds. Other people are like, there's no way because um, how would she be able to stab herself like in the back and on the neck and the back and all this stuff. So anyway, the same week that I thought I was going to be murdered in my apartment was the same week that she wound up stabbed and dead in her apartment in Maniunk. My world got turned upside down. It felt like a movie every day for about eight years. Um, and I'm kind of curious why, if there's a parallel situation going on, like what that happened during the same exact week that my life changed on a dime overnight. Um, so I'm kind of curious like what the dealio is and if anyone who's part of the secret